everybody. So everybody is asking, how do I do page protectors for these wonderful lips that I keep showing everybody? So today I'm going to show you how we can do it. So I'm going to begin by showing you, I only use strap and hinge albums. I typically get mine from Hobby Lobby because I can get a coupon. Um, they also are sold by Creative Memories and their albums are of a higher quality. I will give them that. Um, these are great, but they're not as sturdy. So that's what you do. So what I'd normally do is I take my scrapbook page, flip it over, glue, 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 put it in, and then their page protectors have a hole on both ends. So then you would take it and you just literally get it all in there like that and slide it on over. We're not doing that right now because that's just silly. You guys can figure that part out, no problem. So I've of course picked like the hardest flip flap to demonstrate, of course, because what else would I do? So I have a flip flap on the other side. I have to manage both of these together in order to make this work. So I'm getting my page prepared to do a full slide over so that I can get the middle area. And actually, I'm glad I did this because I'm not realizing this won't fit. So I need to cut it down. I'm just going to use a little Sharpie so I know where I'm cutting to. I'm going to cut to there. So get out my little cutter. And just going to give it a little trim. Make sure you trim the side that opens. There's nothing worse than trimming the wrong side and you just wasted a whole lovely page protector. So just getting gathering up all my little friends here. You have to watch what you're doing and go slow because otherwise you will wreck a doodad or two. So here I can already feel it's catching on the side. So I've got to come over. And get it over all the little friends. And of course, I have lots of friends here. So I'm carefully getting it over. Oh. Okay. Make sure we're okay on that side. Yep, everybody's behaving. And I think. We've got it. So then I just start shimmying on both sides. And it's usually much easier than this, but I'm going over a lot of stuff. And I want to go slow so that I don't break things. After you do all that work, the last thing you want to do is wreck your beautiful creation. So I'm still shimmying from each side. Yep, the little friends. Okay, so that's the first step, is getting the middle part on. So now that piece is covered, happy day. And now I'm going to tuck this guy back under, because we don't need the other side right now. We're back to just this side. So what I do is I take some of the page protectors, and I have loads of the um, postbound page protectors. Um, so I use these before I use the ones that I actually paid for from Hobby Lobby. Um, you need to get something to cut these down that'll fuse them. This is a fuse tool from We Are Memory Makers. Comes with this handy dandy, um, it's got a hole in it, ruler the little stand for the little tool. And it's got this little wheelie that can do a different seal. It's more like that little perforated kind of thing, but it's not perforated. I highly recommend the glass because when I was cutting these, I was sitting there and I needed to be able to see the line that I was going along in order to do it. So that is what is required. Um, you might be able to get away 
with a soldering gun, but I didn't want to go down that route with not knowing. So this one I already fused. Um, you can see it does a really nice job. Um, there's no real mess on the edge. So now I'm going over my first flap here. You kind of just bend it a little bit to get it to go in. Of course, it's being naughty. Okay. Make sure you guys can see. Yeah, see it's catching on my picture. That's my problem. So there, that side's done. Yay! Now you've got the other part. So, I already created that spot as well. So here, I created one and I have this other little flip. So I created it with a slice there. So now I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Make sure you put this guy inside. Otherwise he's not going to be part of the show and that would just be so sad. And I'm just going to tuck my little ribbons in there. Oh, see, I missed it. I missed it. He's got to go through the little slice. And this is where I got stuck last time, too. It catches on the inside. And again with the ribbons. Oh, see, I sliced it open. That's okay. I can make another one. And then I made a little pocket, also using that fun little fuse tool. So then you've got a flip, a flip, and oh, sorry, and no mess. So that is how you do that. Um, I'll post another video to show you the other side. Thanks, everybody.